So, uh, Val, this is Lydia. <laughs> Lydia, meet Val. Lydia, if you want to, you know, get out of here. You just, you know, leave. That'd be great right now. What could I do for you? So, how do you like Breeze Home? Compact and efficient. If a bit tight on the space, reminds me of being on a ship. I feel right at home, to be honest. There you go, and uh, here is Lydia. My, I guess you could call her my first mate in this case. So I'm wearing the... I'm wearing an amulet of Debella. Oh yeah, I'd like you to stay here when we're not traveling together just so I know where he is. I appreciate it. Does he have other outfits or is that if I want to wear, uh, want him to wear something specific? Sure. Regular outfit. Could you wear something different? Oh, okay. See, I was saying, it's like, oh, he reminds me a little of Jaspart. Now that reminds me of Jaspart, down to the scarf and everything, too. We've got this. Yeah. You know, show off those uh, forums for me. When we stop for the evening in a safe place, might have to do something drastic like wearing an amulet of Debella to encourage him, or at least to get his attention. It is 5 a.m., you so, anything? you know, it's a little on the late side. So, I'll come up, get up here. We're gonna wait until night. We're gonna wait until the evening. I like this outfit, though. I, I, I like this. I wish I had a fashion sense like yours, but I might also get weird looks if I dressed like this out in public. Nice place you have here. In real life, you know. That's a beautiful necklace, mm -hmm. especially on you. Mm -hmm. huh. A man could assume some things from your wearing it. Well, maybe I just like the skill buff. Maybe I just like the buff. Yeah, it has helpful enchantments. You can assume I wanted to get your attention. You can assume whatever you'd like, but it'd probably be wrong. No, 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 I wanted to get his attention. You've had it since the moment I first saw you. All you had to do was ask. You seemed, uh, distracted by, you know, the ruined pale lady. I wasn't sure. I was mostly distracted by you. Now that you have my undivided attention, what do you plan to do with it? I'm gonna tell Lydia to take the night off. You can kiss me if you want. I'll kiss you anytime you like. I might even be a gentleman about it. <laughs> I hope that last part is a lie. It is if you want it to be. Then put your hands on me like an honest man. Well, he's not an honest man. He's going to put his hands on me. There's nothing honest about it. Well, as you wish, love. <laughs> Oof. Diddle me timbers. In the morning, talk to Val about last night. Oh, it's been like five minutes, huh? Um, five minutes, huh, Val? It's okay. It happens. I won't judge you. I almost wish that we had maybe, like, gone to sleep and, you know, woken up in the morning. The only thing, though, is that <laughs> would probably require you to go to a specific nice place, place in order for that kind of scripted sequence to happen. It would probably be, oh, go to Bree's home, go to a specific home. That way they could, you know, program it to be, oh, you get out of bed together. I was up early, so I made you breakfast. Damn, really? Home-cooked meal? I didn't know you cooked. There's a lot of things you don't know about me. Such as? I've never made anyone breakfast before. You know, the morning after. I was worried he was going to say, I've never made breakfast before. And I was going to say, like, uh, maybe I won't eat this then. What do you mean? I'm not proud, but of all the times I've... Well, it doesn't matter. I want to be here. With you. And Lydia. Oh, the food is delicious. Well, thank you. I'm glad you liked it. You got more? You got seconds? Oh, I'll visit the White Run Market. So is that just a coincidence then? Is that just really fortunate timing that I was already in White Run? I feel like it would have to be, unless they programmed it, unless they somehow programmed it to be that it checks for what location you're in? I don't know. 
All I'm going to say is that this worked out well. What I'll say is that this did <laughs> wind up working well. I think a daytime outing to the White Room Market would be a nice change of pace. However, I've seen Val scowling at Nazim. I wonder what he's up to. I mean, that's pretty standard, scowling at Nazim. I've never seen anyone smile at Nazim. Right, shiny and fresh vegetables for sale. For your good hey, lady. you dropped it. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Hmm. What do you want? Looks like a ring. Shame it's him. missing I've got a recipe stuff. for venison stew that I what? want to try out. What? How did you get it? Do you venison anytime soon? Must have fallen out of your pocket. Certainly. Huh. I'll be You're sure to bring some back for you the next time I go hunting. Hey, kitty lady. Maybe sure it's very might be a bowl of hot stew I see. I'm not sure what happened. I am. Now, if you'll excuse me. I have a feeling I know. Bubbles for sale. Or crafted the by the cuts. best Fresh from the water. Hey. Skyrim. Hey. What's the grin for? Here, just a little something I picked up. Is it gonna be a diamond? Flawless ruby. Did you steal this from Nazim? If I did, he certainly won't miss it. Besides, it'll look better on you anyway. You can lie to everyone else, but not to me. What if I said I was sorry? Is that a lie? Yeah, are you? Maybe. Though, I'd rather make it up to you. Uh, you should return the gem or donate it to the temple. Uh, why don't you have it made into something for me? Uh, return it to the temple. As you wish. Spoken like my better half as usual, love. We, we jumped to love very quickly. No, this meat won't do it all. Ooh. It's like, well, you're calling me love. How many other girls have you said that to? yourself, then. Hey, gorgeous. What do you think of Whiterun? You know, this is my first time in Whiterun. I've always wanted to see the Jewel of the North for myself. You know, I haven't heard that term before. Hey, handsome. Kiss me, let's take a bath. Ooh, just right here, there's a well behind me. You have the most brilliant ideas. I have a few more. Oh! Owning a farm does have its advantages. All right, Val. All right. <laughs> see anything you like? Uh... You know, now I suddenly feel like I need a hug. Bring it in. Yeah. Naked hug. Mostly naked. I'm wearing armor. <laughs> slightly, uh... Tired of bread and slightly mismatched right now, the two of us. I don't blame you for staring. I... Uh, get dressed. Don't avert your eyes now. You're missing my best features. I know, I like the outfit. I, I do like the outfit. If you need me. That won't be far. So it said bring up past loves. Uh, ask him when we stopped somewhere safe for the night. Okay, so back home. Hmm. Honored to see you again, my Thane. No, 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 not now. Leave me alone. Good day. No, not now, Lydia. Please. What could I do for you? Tell me, Val. Have you had lovers in the past? A partner, perhaps? Plenty, but not anyone I ever missed. Oh, I see. Uh, that didn't come out right. Look, I was never in one place for very long, and... <sighs> it was always easier to sail away than deal with anything more complicated. It wasn't something I cared about until I met you. It's a good thing I got him a ship, then. It's a good thing that I got him a boat, then, because he could just sail off the second he gets bored. So what is this thing with us? Complicated? Hmm. In a way I never knew I needed. I'm not going anywhere. I wish you had maybe said something other than complicated. Oh, fade to black? Five minutes later? Oh. <laughs> what about us? Don't you want someone to care about you? What about us? Don't let this slip away. Hey, gorgeous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't hey, gorgeous me. We've got this. Well, you know, I kind of need to know where we're going next. We've been dancing around commitment. I'd like to know where we stand. Equipping an amulet of Mara should get the message across. Yeah, I maybe wish there was a little bit more... I, I don't know. I, I wish there was something in-game that indicated some of these stages more. It makes sense. But <laughs> the journal's like, yeah, I get the amulet of Mara. Meanwhile, my actual objective is like, oh, I, don't, I don't know. What about us? Uh, I'm going to go get that amulet. You know, we've been to the Temple of Mara before. It's not our first time there. Hey there, gorgeous. About us, Val. What about us? Huh? An amulet of Mara. Is that for me? It's for us. It's not all about you, Val. Sort of. I had to get your attention somehow. 
I think you know how to get my attention. Anyway, love, I don't know how to say this, but I'm not the marrying type. I'd be lying if I said I didn't want anything. I... I care about you. Deeply. I will say it's only been a couple weeks that we've been together. I'm not asking you to marry me, but don't toy with me. Don't hop on your boat that I bought you with all my money and sail off without me. What are you talking about? I haven't hidden the way I feel about you. You haven't exactly told me either. I've never been this close to anyone before. You want promises? From me? Hey, you gave, uh, Fathis an entire ship? Your promise means a lot to me. I can't give you what's already been stolen. You know, you made off with my heart a while ago, love. Please be serious. I've never been more serious in my life. I love you. And I love you. Then chart your course with me, and you'll never feel the cold at night. When do we meet your mother, by the way? Oh, did we just... Likely never to be seen again. I'm, I'm gonna assume it's a kiss, because it'd be weird if we just did it right here. <laughs> Out in the, uh... In public. I don't feel like that would stop Val, but hey, listen. I'm a lady. I'm, I'm a proper lady. Careful you don't get any marriage proposals while wearing that thing. Well, you know, I, I can take it off now. <laughs> I don't necessarily need it now. Amulet of Dabella, on the other hand, that'll hold on to. That'll wear. From what I saw on the mod page, the next stage of the romance, the next stage of our quest together, is um uh, to sleep in a safe place, to sleep nice kind of overnight, and then things will kind of pick up in the morning. Or I think I have to talk to him first. I'm listening. At night. I'm with you. Yeah, I think once it's night, I have to say like, oh, I'm going to bed, and then we go to bed, and then things pick up. Fortunately, if you do need a guide for how to do any and all quests in this, it does exist on the mod page. There eh? is um, a full, like, article for his personal quest, for his romance quest, stuff like that. So if you do feel stuck at any point, fortunately that is there. Which, as always, I do love, you know, more documentation. Uh, what do you say we go to bed early tonight? I used to love being at sea. But your hands in my hair feel better than the wind. Oof. Lead the way, love. I'm gonna close the door, though. Well, we're not. Sorry. I was gonna have Lydia not watch us, but now she can. Is it morning yet? No, okay. So, yeah, the Fade to Black is a Kiss, which I did see that the mod page does have um, compatibility for uh, Kiss mods. So instead of the Fade to Black, we would actually see ourselves... You know, go in and get that smooch. Also, yes, I'm sleeping for 13 hours. I have earned it. I think I deserve a long night's rest. You awaken feeling well-rested. Started Wicked Game. Search for Val at the safe harbor. I woke up and Val was gone. That's unusual. Maybe he went sailing. Well, the mod mentions something about his journal. Is there something new in his journal, maybe? Which, granted, you know, uh, wouldn't make sense for him to have updated his journal while it was in my pocket, but... No, nothing new... There. Well... Let's go. Yeah, I was just looking to see if there was a note or anything here. Um, which, if anything, I feel like it would be on the floor. Because, once again, this is not really tied to a specific location. It can be anywhere uh, that the game deems safe, that the mod deems safe. Look around. Oh, the note's gonna be here, isn't it? If... Ooh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, blood and his sapphire ring. Guard, have you seen anything? Guard, where's my boyfriend? Guard, where is he? <laughs> I would like to report a, uh, a kidnapping of the most handsome damn man you ever did see. Impeccably dressed, too. If that is um, not enough for you to find him, then frankly, I don't know how else to describe him. Well, the good news is I don't think he ran out on me. The very, very, very good news is I do not believe that he suddenly ran 
out Trouble. and abandon me. Uh, bad news, signs of a struggle, ring left behind, which I'm gonna wear it. Hell yeah, I'm gonna wear it. Do you think I have to give it back? Do you think he'll let me keep it? Maybe that shouldn't be my main concern right now, but you know, as I go looking, gallivanting, exploring, it's something that comes to mind at least. Also, because I know the um, the voice actor for Val watched at least the first episode. Uh, in case you're still watching, <laughs> how does it feel for me to romance you? I always wonder how that feels. I guess it's the thing of it must be at least slightly normal because you're you're already voicing the character. You know that someone's gonna romance you. You've recorded the lines for it. Does it become, like, different or even weird when you then get to see it for yourself, when you then get to watch people like myself, unfortunately, um, <laughs> have these conversations, these back and forths with you and talk about smooching your huh? character and everything? That's my, that's my thought for the day. That is gonna be my little industry thought for the day. That takes care of that. that ooh, where did you come from? You be on your way, I'm looking for my boyfriend. Because I've been running this whole time, but I never really checked to see where the marker was pointing me. Okay, pointing me towards Winterhold. So I could fast travel to Dawnstar and walk from there. Eh, I'll just, I'll walk. Does this count as getting my steps in for the day? Does this count as me getting my steps in? Probably not, since I'm not playing the VR version, but man oh man. <laughs> Skyrim Saturday VR when? We're almost there, and you know what? I would say it was worth the walk. I raised a couple skills, I fought a dragon, some bandits. There was a talking horse at one point. Oh lost, god, Brandon. okay, okay. Uh-oh, mercenaries, and I see a mercenary spell sword among them as well, or a, a mage. Might not be a spell sword since I see no sword. But you get the idea. Also, wait a second. Oh, the ship looks like it has seen better days. The boat looks like it's seen better days. Um, it, it looks like it's kind of run aground, which is bad, because I really hope it's not damaged, because I spent a lot of money on that damn thing. I'm sure it's gonna be fine. They wouldn't make me spend all that money just for uh, us to lose the boat, right? That'd be silly. That'd be very, 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 very silly. I hope. Val? Val? That Val would never do this to a boat. Val, Val would never, ever do this. This was not his doing. No. No, no, no. Oh no, his sword! I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna take it. It's, um... The, the ring, the sword, next, you know, I'm gonna have his outfit, and frankly, I'll be the new Val. Serrano is to be captured alive and taken to the sightless pit. Your means and methods are unimportant. Get it done. What if this turned out to be, like, an ex-lover? What if this turned out to be, like, a jilted lover who was mad that he left, and then it leaves me with this thing of... I have to decide, like, oh, what if he does this to me? What if she says, like, he said he'd be with me, he said, oh, I don't do marriage, but I love you, and I'll never leave you. I don't think that's gonna be the case, but man, oh man, could you imagine? And then I have to decide for myself if I think he's changed, if I think he can change his ways, or... If, you know, I'm gonna someday kidnap him because I'm mad and jealous and whatnot. Hello? Oh, God! Fucking damn it! I can't believe I have to do this again. I thought you were dead. Well, not dead, but I... Yeah, I kind of thought you were dead. I didn't expect you to be alive after throwing you in the ocean. Oh, you're back, eh? What? Well, I'm back? What have you done with Val? I'm saving him from you. What are you talking about? Where is he? He's down in the pit. Alone. No weapons, no magic. 
and relearning the lesson that he can't count on anyone but himself. Why do I have a feeling that even if I had killed him, this would still happen? Why do I have a feeling that even if I had killed him, he would have somehow come back? I mean, Fathis came back and we certainly thought he was dead. You're a monster. <laughs> monster? <laughs> Me? Now. Yes. You think I'd let my own flesh and blood suffer the same mistakes I made? If you imagine some kind of happily ever after with him? What a joke. You know, I, I kind of wish it had been the, uh, the ex-lover. I liked my theory on that. You love Val's mother? Don't you want happiness for your son? And where is she now, eh? Took my son from me the first chance she got, and would have raised him like a beggar. And then you tried to kill him. Happiness. <sighs> bah. You might as well kill him yourself. This union does not have my blessing. I don't need your blessing. We're progressive here. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh. Right. You know what? I, I do like that he's using flame cloak. I feel like you don't see enough um, enemies use cloaks and whatnot. I also think it's very fitting that I'm going to kill you with Val's sword. I, I like it was like, oh, you're going to... You're getting him killed here. It's like, okay, you have the whole mutiny against him. Tried to kill him a second time. Can I take your ebony armor? No, I can't. Oh, he, this is... Oh, He has the golden torque inscribed with my love always from the mother. I'm taking your sword. I really wanted your armor. I really, really did. I'm hoping this is kind of it for you now. I'm, which, I'm hoping this is really kind of your final death. You're like a cat at this point, frankly. <laughs> yeah, see? You're done. You're you're real, real done. Oh, I think I hear them beating up Val. Oh my god, they're really beating them up. I also like how his dad was like, oh, no, no magic. It's like, what would you have done to restrict his magic? I guess maybe like a poison of drain magic, but it wouldn't have like a long-lasting effect. Val, you're gonna be okay, buddy. Shouldn't really say buddy anymore. We're a little bit more than old buddies, old pals now, aren't we? It's you. Love, you came for me. I knew you would. Ooh, here are some great Falmer toe shots, so enjoy that. Uh, also, your dad's dead. I'll always come. I'll always come for you, my love. Can you walk? I don't think so. I got hit with some kind of poison. They broke my hand. <laughs> I can't cast anything. Okay, there you go. Hermaeus Mora was whispering in my head that I was going to die alone down here. But I was never alone. Because I have you. I hadn't considered the, hey, I'll break your hands so you can't cast magic. That makes more sense. Uh, you need healing. Drink this. You get... You get the good healing potion. If that doesn't show love, then I don't know what does. Ah. Uh -huh. That's good stuff. Right? I feel like a new man. Weird that you put it in a skooma bottle. Or it, it, I know it's literally just because that's the only base game animation for drinking potions. <sighs> Got a lot to tell you, but later. Let's get out of here and go home, love. I swear, if your dad comes back again... Aw, oh, he took the sword back. Yeah, I swear, if your dad comes back again, <laughs> I'm gonna be a little pissed. I'm gonna be a little mad. Although maybe... If he comes back, maybe that means I can get that sweet ebony armor that I really wanted to look. Oh, man. Yeah. Well, at least I have your dad's sword, which is just as strong, which is just as good. I don't know why I thought he was going to let me keep the sword. Wish you were never <laughs> I don't know why I thought that, but wouldn't that have been nice? Uh, the rest of Sightless Pit was just now the normal the loot. dungeon. There was nothing else, um... There's nothing unique getting up to Val, and I don't think Pulse. there's gonna be anything new getting out of here, but... This is... Well, this is the only way out. You can't get out the way you came because of the little drop-down. Boop! Pathetic. I do hope we get to bring up the thing with his 
father, because we haven't brought that up yet. I don't know if he even knows. Well, I, I assume he would know that we had to kill his father in order to get to him. Gorgeous Aurora tonight. Is it? I mean, it's just, uh, <laughs> it's just the sky. Hold on. Come on, Val. We gotta get her ship shape. I love looking at the stars. Get her ship shape and back to the safe harbor, which apparently wasn't all that safe in the end. Completed wicked game. Need something? I knew something was wrong when I found this. I've never seen you take it off. I think it's even more special to me now. Heck of a way to get you to give me a ring, huh? Usually it's the other way around. I'd never have stopped looking for you. Marry me. Oh, oh, what? You said you didn't want to get married. I say a lot of things. I mean this one. What changed? Well, I saved him from death. When I was in that cave, I wish I could see you one last time. But I was glad you weren't there and that my past hadn't hurt you. I always thought marriage didn't mean much. My mother and father are married and they haven't spoken in years. It didn't matter how much my mother loved him. My father didn't want to change. When I met you, my whole world shifted. The first person on my mind is always you. I think of something and I can't wait to tell you. I wonder what you think, how you feel. Or what might make you laugh? There will never be anyone else like that for me. I know without a doubt that I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Yes, I'll marry you. I love you, Val. I do like that I can say it's like, I think getting, living on land's getting to you. I'm not going to ruin this beautiful moment. My love, I've never been so happy in my life. <laughs> you had me worried for a minute. Well, I was taken back I a little give bit. You something. I know you don't like me stealing, and I have never done an honest day's work in my life to pay for something. So instead, I made this for you. These wildflowers Aww. belong to no one, but my heart belongs to you for all my days and beyond. You remembered. This is why I adore you. Thanks, but I think a flower crown would look better on you, princess. No, it's like, I, I did say, it's like, hey, we don't need to steal right now. We do okay without the stealing. I love you, Val. It's not- the line doesn't say that. I'm adding it in there. Well, I don't want you to feel ashamed of something I gave you. Not for this. Come here. Yeah, let's hug. Oh, look at my flower crown. Joke's on you, I'm actually deathly allergic to pollen. So, uh, now I'm gonna die. Hey. Can I ask you something important? Sure, love. Do you ever think about raising children? Who says I haven't already? Oh, Val. Oh, I mean, that's wonderful for you. I suspect there's a little Valerius Jr. running around somewhere. Do you? By Azura, I hope not. It wouldn't have been intended, and I don't know anything about how to raise kids. I never really thought about it before, not until I met you. But I don't think I'd make much of a father. I just noticed the Hermaeus Mora tattoo. I just noticed it. I really like it. Uh, give Val some time to think. We'll do that before the wedding. Yeah, let's give him some time to think. Brought up the possibility of raising children with Val, but he's worried he wouldn't be a good father. Maybe he just needs some time. 